world of accessible sports has grown over the last several years. And one program here in Southeast Michigan is blossoming. CBS News Detroit's Meredith Bruckner is on your block in Novi at Total Sports Complex for people of all abilities. Emily Eitzman sets up for drills at a soccer camp she founded. The clinic is for amputees and individuals with limb differences. But well, what we're going to do is just dribble through the cones and then you're going to pass. Right now at the University of Michigan, I'm working to start a Michigan amputee soccer team. And then get to the end. And then pass it. It would be the first of its kind in the state. I've been doing a lot of outreach to different hospitals, ONP clinics, different teams, and I've gotten a lot of interest, putting up flyers, things like that. And the first camp, we had about three amputees, I think, and we already have much more at this camp. Uh, we heard about it from the U of M. Um, that's where he goes to see his prosthetic, and we want to check it out. It's, uh, it's amazing, but it's a lot of work. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I can't. Josh's son, Benton, lost his leg two years ago. I had cancer. So it's been gone a while now, two years, and I really haven't done sports. It's pretty fun. Yeah, is it challenging? It is very challenging. Jamie Mordyke's son, Owen, also lost his leg to cancer. He was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a bone cancer, in 2022. Um, went through treatment, including an amputation on his leg. Um, and he finished up treatment in January of last year. She says Owen started playing amputee soccer at an established program in Columbus, Ohio in the fall. But the UM clinics are much closer to home. So Owen was a soccer player before his diagnosis, so this has allowed him to get back into the sport at a more competitive level, be around people that are in a similar situation to him and feel more confident about things as well. So get back into the game that means so much to them. The camp is for adults and children alike. Everyone is welcome. So it's a little different for me. I was born with my amputation, so um, this kind of stuff didn't exist when I was a kid. I didn't ever see another amputee till I was in my late 20s. Um, so getting the opportunity to get out and see people like you and get active and do something fun is really exciting. Ah, it's gone. Teresa Stankiewicz is a type 2 diabetic who recently had her leg amputated after doctors tried to treat a severe Charcot complication in her right foot. I love sports and did sports my whole life. And so anything I can do to continue to progress forward and uh, get my quality of life back, that's what I'm trying to do. Hey, I thought I did pretty good. <laughs> I have a great attitude. I'm a special education teacher, so... I work with students who are in wheelchairs and things like that, and so I always know my life could be much worse. And so um, I just I'm try to live my life the best I can every day. She shows us how she removes her prosthetic before participating in drills. But basically, I just unclip that, and then my leg just basically slides out, and that's it. Throw it off to the side, and away I go. For these camps, you don't have to be an amputee. Obviously, amputee soccer is really great for people with limb differences to have the opportunity to play. But at these camps, I hop in, you know, the coaches hop in. Um, whoever wants to play is welcome. And we definitely encourage everyone to come out and try it. It's really hard and it's a lot of fun. I decided to give it a try. She wasn't kidding. This was hard. It required an unbelievable amount of upper body strength and coordination. After warm-up and drills, it's time to scrimmage. We got it. One, two, three. Go yes. Yes. Questions? Fabulous. Let's go. Just the fact that I come out here and see these young kids and see other all these other people out here to do this, it just it warms my heart. Reporting in Novi, Meredith Bruckner, CBS News Detroit.